EA Sports, and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from the Monterey Peninsula and Pebble Beach, live second-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. He's got a two-shot advantage here to begin play. Just 90 yards remaining here for his second into the par four. This one looks right on point. Oh, nothing wrong with that iron shot. It's a good one. Just a little short, little right, but still a very good place to putt from. This will slide a bit right. It's for birdie. Now, nah, missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And the lead's going to remain two. Another very nice tee shot. He looks awfully comfortable here with these first couple of drives. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. When you find yourself in the fairway on the second at Pebble, you have a great opportunity to take advantage of one of the easiest holes on the course. That one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. That one just going to sneak on by. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. And that'll put him at one under for his round and 14 under for the tournament. Second shot, good look at the green. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money really to make good. Nicely done. He's looking good early. That's birdies at two and three. And he moves to 15 under. Coming off the two straight birdies, this will be a little tougher as the tee shot is into the bunker. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. This from about 10 feet.
That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And he'll remain four clear of the field. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Now this, for birdie. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Pretty good read there, definitely good speed and it just skips a foot or so by. That one finished off, it is a part here at five. And he'll maintain that four shot lead. Boy, tough to do a whole lot better than that. That ball right down the middle. Now from a little less than 200 yards, this a second to the par five. Got every bit of that, put it all the way there, and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. So now this, just inside, 20 feet for Eagle. Oh yeah, that's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an Eagle three, superb. Yeah, that's a good spot right there and a chance now for a birdie here at seven. This is a 13-footer. Nope. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven and he'll remain well in control of this tournament. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Aggressive off the tee, ball lucky not to run out of fairway and into the ocean, but now sitting in an ideal spot with access to the green. A little further right, a little further up, that would have been close. Look here at birdie. And not too much break on this, maybe a little to the right, but it's going back up the hill so we can't leave it short. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. I tried to warn him, you have to hit it. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And that's gonna keep this large lead right where it is. That's up the left side. Oh. 
Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rough, but that is long. So from the rough, his second at nine. That's a good shot out of the rough. Really controlled the uh, the lack of spin out of the grass. Ball didn't jump either, so did not go over the green. Yeah, that's good putt. That was a slippery one, but that's well done. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that will be a sizzling 31 on the front side, four under par. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Just over 90 yards all that's left here for his second. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. And the lead swells to six here on this Friday. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Frank, uphill shot. What did you like to do on a, a play like this? The biggest thing really is to try and work on your balance. You've got to make sure you get through the shot and normally take an extra club. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. Now this for another birdie. Yes, good start to this backside. Back-to-back -back birdies here at 10 and 11. And he continues to just build up a massive lead for the weekend. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. This is a 16-footer. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. He's going to maintain that substantial lead. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. That pin in the front right quadrant of the green today as he stares down his second. It might have been perhaps a little conservative, but right in the heart of the green.
Yeah, he just never got that one going. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he's gonna stay at 19 under par. fairway here and that is right where you want to be. Frank a chance here to get home in two. A chance maybe to do what Gary Woodland did on his way to winning the 2019 U.S. Open. Yeah Gary hit a great three wood but um, I don't even think he was trying to hit that on the green. Look at that big gaping bunker left and short of that green. You would think that's to be avoided but no no. That's actually where you want to finish up because it's such a hard pitch shot. There's no point laying up. If you can get into that front bunker, it's a relatively simple splash out shot. One of the few times you want the second shot into a green side bunker. He's made one of these already. Another look now for Eagle. Speed was spot on, a good putt, but nothing to show for it. Easy does it there. It's a birdie at 14. And he's just continuing to pour it on here on this Friday. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. So a big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that inside of five feet. Nicely done. Chance now for another birdie. On point late here in the round, birdies at 14 and 15, and he moves to 21 under par. Bit of a downslope here as he ponders his second. Now, in my book, that's a good shot. You can really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close. And you'd have plenty of birdie putts. Just gonna sneak on by. Yeah, he needed to play it out a little bit further, and he also needed to hit it just a little harder. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16, and he's gonna remain at minus 21. Okay, maybe not ideal, but pin high to the left and a decent look for birdie coming up. 17 foot putt here. Oh yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. That means he'll get it to 22 under par.
This one starting up that left side. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Well within range from here. A second now to the par five. And this is looking really good. What a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made Eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double Eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up here and just hit the shot. Oh, yeah. Second Eagle of the day. This one coming here at 18. So another look at the leaderboard, and you'll almost do a double take, Frank, our featured golfer with a commanding lead through 36 holes. So far, it's just been uh, just a clinic again. I know I use that word a lot, Rich, but it, it looks like two different two different players, one at the top and well, the, the chases. Different league. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Iona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.